has begun. Good evening, my lord. We will serve you while the Terran is away. It has begun. There you are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. A blight wolf is what he is. How am I supposed to work like this? Oh dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. Well, get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way.
Look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Oh, encourage the hound, why don't you? No wonder he keeps giving Nan fits. It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. I shall do it. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about.
Yes? I thank you. That is quite unnecessary. Very well. Good evening, my lord. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence! I will not have you two becoming... Perhaps you should... And my dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlais last year. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours. Ah, oh, marvelous. Just... I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. I'm so proud of my pup's mastery of tact and diplomacy. Well, it was a lovely salon, from what little I remember. <laughs> Which wouldn't be much, considering we had to pour... You remember... It's good to see you again, my lord. Don't be rude. And this it is a great don't look now. Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Aware that my husband and I As you say. Good evening, my lord. It shall be done. Going to be a war, Papa. That, don't. F and here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and. He is as mortal as anyone, despite. Now, love, no need to be grim. If it's any consolation. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think. Well, off we. 
I would hope, dear boy, that... Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. And miss having both my children in one place before I leave? Not likely. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. I'll miss you, Mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? I agree. No. Fighting outside, and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? They never got through the door, thanks to you. Her scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go.
Perhaps we can salvage some things here, darling. Some of your father's belong... ...things are in that trunk. It shall be done. It is begun. Begun. I'm, I'm so sorry. If she hadn't come to me, if she hadn't been here. men must be everywhere. Don't be foolish. You would throw your life away? The front gates. That's where your father must be. If Howe's men are inside, they must already control the castle. They must use the servant's entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then survive and visit vengeance upon him. I shall do it. The castle has fallen! I'm getting out of here! Yes, my lord! Here... Here they come!
Go, man the gate. Keep those bastards out as long as you can. Your ladyship, my lord, you're both alive. I was certain Hell's men had gotten through. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hell's men out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. They won't hold. It will only delay the inevitable. Please, go while you have the chance. When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. It is begun. You both are. I was. Bryce. Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding. Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. He can't get away with this. The king will. We must get you out of here. I... 
I won't survive the standing, I think. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. Yes. Vengeance. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Hal's men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My younger son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. I fear your thanks are premature. I doubt I have saved him. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me. But I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. You fought your way to me through Hal's men. I think the Maker's intention is clear. I will take the Tirner and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. My place is with your father. At his side, to death and beyond. I'm... just so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go, now. Goodbye, darling.